Okay, I'm about to do a quick transcription in response to a uh, an image of a painting by the artist Jenny Saville. So I want to get rid of the white. So I've got some ready mix here. So I'm going to carefully add a bit onto this paper. So I can see that blue within the painting. I did just have an accident with the first attempt at recording this, so I'm going to take that lid off and just tap out a little bit carefully. Okay, put that back in, on. Now I've got a ruler here, and this is just ready mixed paint, and I can just spread that out, get some lovely effects, and it's just going to basically get rid of all that white paper. newspaper behind because I'm going up to the edge and off it. I've got a bit of newspaper here, scrunch it up, wipe off excess. fairly thin. Now I'm going to have a go at drawing into that. So I've got my reference image. And I can sort of hold that to the scale. I'm just going to really roughly Draw that in. I mean, in some places, this is not even going to draw. It's just going to almost like scratch into the paint. Changing my mind on the position of the ear already. It's going to be an eye eventually. lips. Now I'm just being a bit aware that because that paper's damp I probably don't want to scratch in too much more with that at the minute. I've got some oil pastels here and maybe I'll start with the white. Or is that a rubber? I think that might be a rubber. <laughs> that do a peachy colour. too similar to what's already there so maybe I could draw in with some blue yeah that works better so maybe the thing is actually keep this uh, the image that you're working from in your hand it probably stop you from fiddling too much 
Now this originally is at a really large scale, so where there's a video um, online of the exhibition that this was part of, and you can actually appreciate how big the paintings are. I suppose with this work we are sort of exploring the relationship, the similarities and differences between painting and drawing. Might need to just take off a bit more of that paint there. See if I can use that bit of newspaper carefully. Roll, fold in the the wet bits. Take off a bit more of that. I think so it's a bit more workable. That smudge might look quite cool anyway. And I'm just doing this transcription because this is just the warm up. This is the practice. Oh, I don't even want to throw my charcoal in there. I'll take that out because that's not an oil pastel. Because the real deal is going to be working really big on A1, and I'm going to choose an image that I want to do a portrait of in a similar style, inspired by, by what I'm trying out in this mini version. Just going to try and work in a bit more matching of the colours that I see on here.
Auto. Just use a little bit of acrylic because I think I could do with just a little bit of highlights. I didn't bring a paintbrush over, but I'm sure my finger will do this fine. Yeah, that'll work, I think. actually save it being wasted shift that ear over I've just realized so just redraw that's it am I drawing am I painting I don't really know it's something in between redrawing oh that's quite nice the scraffito scratching into that white paint while it's wet and actually that's given a chance for other stuff to dry out a little bit issue 
one of them. This on this massive painting, that bit there would be drips. So she, um, I, th I believe I've heard that she starts painting flat, but then there's be times when she would have this is on a big canvas, the times where she's allowing the paint to drip down. The luminosity, I suppose. on the lips. Waste it. Could do some of that there actually. Okay. 
Okay. So I think that will do for the transcription because it is literally just a warm up. And then on this side of the page, I'm going to do some reflection on her work. Um, there's those videos that you can watch so you can hear her speak about her art. And I can take some notes from listening into that. And I can interpret, and how does this image make me feel? You know, I've had a good chance to look at it while drawing it. So now I can then reflect on it on this page here. So, and then that kind of sets me up for choosing my own image that I'm then going to work large in this sort of style. So remember, thinking back to how I started that image, I got rid of the white paper first and that's how you will proceed when you do your large um, uh, image portrait inspired by the work of Jenny Savile. There you go.